Hello YouTube and welcome to my first video of 2019. Happy New Year everybody. Today we're going to be doing a review of a pair of men's Gucci driving shoes and they are among my absolute favorite shoes. I'll go over why in a little bit. Please leave your comments below and please keep them positive. Also like and share and I'm happy to announce I have my first subscriber which is really exciting. Would love to see more people subscribe and it would definitely encourage me to do more videos. Okay, let's get started on this pair of Gucci shoes. For starters, the packaging in Gucci, especially the updated black and cream packaging, in my opinion, is so much nicer than the old brown packaging. Gucci packaging has always been of exceptionally high quality, but the new packaging really, if you haven't seen it, is amazing. As you can see, the box is textured almost in like a corduroy pattern. Um, really, really, really nice. And this is what all the shoes come in now. The lid is also very, very deep. Um, I had to take the lid off the box a little because with one hand, I couldn't get the lid off at all. So, um, you know, standard paper. And there are my driving shoes. And yes, they are white. I know that there's some controversy over whether or not men wearing white driving shoes is really classy or appropriate. I think it all has to do with how you pair them. Um, again, dust bags, standard Gucci dust bags, the silky ones. As I've mentioned in my videos before, I live in a really dry climate, so uh, the dust bags tend to stay uh, in the box. I don't really... Uh, don't really need them. And I keep all my shoes in their boxes. I know that there's some talk about, should you keep your shoes in your boxes? Should you not? I keep my shoes in my boxes because it helps me keep track of them. Okay, so these are the shoes and they are the older style Gucci drivers. These were discontinued. And the essay that I deal with at Gucci was phenomenal in tracking down a pair for me. Uh, as any of you who've watched my past videos will know, I won't buy shoes that are a display. I don't even like to buy shoes that have been tried on before. Probably my OCD. Uh, she is absolutely phenomenal, the essay that I deal with. She tracked me down a brand new pair. Um, I could tell from the packaging when they came in that they were most likely never tried on. Um, so I guess maybe she could have swapped the packaging, but I trust her when she says that, to the best of her knowledge, they weren't. So. The older style Gucci loafers were classic, and I'm really disappointed that they have discontinued them. The replacements, in my opinion, are not nearly as nice. So let's go over some of the features. Facade is the leather on these is textured. And you can see it has kind of like this, um, it's not really an embossing, it's just textured. The, the rim is doubled over, and the stitching, like any quality luxury shoe, is, you know, Phenomenal. These have the classic uh, Gucci band that goes across and then of course the standard Gucci uh, horse bit um, metal. And it's in, the, it's in the silver finish, which I really like. I don't care for gold. I don't like the color yellow um, at all. So I don't buy shoes that have any sort of gold um, hardware on it of any kind. Um, the inside of these shoes, and I keep my shoes stuffed with the paper that they come with. I know a lot of people say you should use shoe trees. I find shoe trees stretch shoes, uh, even if it's just a little bit. And I am fortunate enough to have feet that are almost a perfect European size 43. Um, so when I buy a shoe, they usually fit and I don't want to, I don't want them to stretch any more than they normally would just from wearing. So the inside of these shoes, of course, say Gucci made in Italy. It'll focus, there you go. And they are leather. Uh, one nice thing about Gucci driving shoes is that the soles, or rather the insoles, do not come out, which I really like because otherwise they tend to slip sometimes and they'll move and I, I just like the fact that they are glued in place, which is really, really nice. Um, the interior of the shoe is really beautiful. Um, this is something I really like about the Gucci drivers. This little accent right here at the top of what would be the tongue. Um, I don't know why, I just like that on shoes. I have it on a couple of pairs of my shoes. I just think it gives it that little bit extra. As far as the soles, and you can see that I've, I've worn these a little bit. They're the nub soles. They're in the, the beigeish brownish kind of, what is that? Beigeish brownish uh, rubber. Um, one thing I will tell you, 
and this is my right foot. With all driving shoes, you're going to get corner wear on the sole, depending upon if you pronate, which is walk on the outside of your foot, or supernate, which is walk on the inside. It's more obvious with driving shoes, especially of a lighter color, because you're going to see it. Also, I drive with my right foot, like most people, so the rubber uh, sole material that's on the, the back of the shoe is uh, always going to be, for me, uh, dirty and uh, more worn than on the left of the shoe because I don't drive with my left foot at all and I have an, a car with an automatic transmission. So uh, what I do when I take these off, as I do with all my shoes, I wipe them down. I use uh, alcohol-free baby wipes, which are usually the sensitive skin baby wipes. And what I do is I run them under warm water uh, pretty much to get the majority of the soap that's on them off. And then I wring them out really tight and then I wipe down my shoes, and I always make it a point to wipe down uh, the corners, otherwise this is just gonna be black really quickly, and let's face it, who likes that look? So um, that's just what I do. I don't know if you should do it or not, I'm certainly not taking responsibility for anybody who does it and has a bad effect with their shoes, it's just what I do. So these are my Gucci Hospit loafers. My essay is actually trying to find me a pair in black, which I had and wore the nubs off of. But if you're looking for a comfortable shoe out of the box, hands down, these Gucci drivers are the most comfortable shoes I have ever worn. I think you need to remember with Gucci shoes though, men's shoes, not ladies. The men's shoes run in British or UK sizing. So whatever size you are in US sizes, you go down one in UK or Gucci size. So I usually wear a 10 and these are a nine. So that's my video. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, I love these shoes. If anybody has them or has any comments, again, please keep the comments positive. And uh, I'm hoping to see a couple more subscribers. Thanks very much for watching.